And today we'll be talking about how you can do multi-tenancy deployments using the Varnish controller. Today we're going to use this to build our own CDN. And you may ask yourself the question, why would you build your own CDN? There's services out there, CDN services, and that is true. But there are use cases, plenty of those, where a shared service doesn't do the job for them. They need a dedicated CDN just for them, both from a control perspective as from a security perspective. Uh, because it's not a black box, you have a lot more control. You can tune the things exactly to your needs. And if you play your cards right, that will reduce cost. And the goal today is to create an EU point presence to make sure that we're covered in these three big areas. And if I show you the response, you'll see how it works. This playlist has some metadata, which starts off with a hash sign. So it says that the target duration of, uh, of each video segment is three seconds. And then you can see that as the playlist is loaded, all these video segments should be loaded. And this is the power of streaming, because if we would fast forward in the video, we shouldn't load the entire file. We can load the right segment based on the manifest. Now, I'll quickly show you what is going on now. So if I refresh the www page, I'm getting a US version, and that is not really what we want. So what we'll, uh, what we'll do now is we'll increase capacity in the EU from zero servers to five servers, and then we'll manage everything using the controller. So if I would broadcast to my screens and do a curl call to, uh, to www and filter on the region output tag, you can see that this page is being rendered from the EU, this one from the US, and this one is rendered from APAC. So I guess our CDN is really working. 